Hello everybody, welcome. Now, if you watched the vlog yesterday, I went and got this from Lidl. Uh, £19.99 pence. Uh, dual lock plate. Um, I was going to get one because I, then I'm thinking I can work on my table. So I keep using my equipment and moving it all to the cooker. But it depends how good it is. Um, it was reduced from... 26 I think it was or 25 26 something like that they also do them in B&M the tower one which is 29.99 so it's like a tenner cheaper are they any good though we don't know do we we're gonna find out we can always take it back if it's no good if it doesn't eat up properly so let's get it open if I can open it if I can open it. <sighs> Can't get it, man. Rip the box. There we go. Um. Okay, it's upside down. It's a good start. Hold on, let's see what it says on the box first. It's got 185 mil ring. And an 155 mil ring. Uh, 2500 watt. It's about all it says, really. What's it say on the side there? Dual lock plate with temperature control and indicator light. Automatic safety shut off with thermal fuse. Adjustable temp uh, thermostat. Separate main switch. Non slip feet. Cable storage. Instruction manuals. Uh, 185 mil ring is. 1500 watt and 155 mil ring is a thousand watt. You can see that there, you get a pause or do what you do. Uh. So let's get it open, let's have a quick look then. My consumer is these when I was gonna when I when I got it, can you get two pans on there? You know what I mean? Because there's a gap in the middle. You should be able to, I think, but we'll have a look. Two big pans, I mean, or you have to just have a smaller pan. Instruction booklet. There's not a lot to it, really. Plugs under there, and just get that off. There we go. Okay, first impressions. Not a lot to it, is that? I mean, there's not, is that? It's just an eating element, isn't it? That's all it is. Minimum to maximum. One, two, three, four, five turn. Probably can't see that properly. There, one on each side. Cut off switch at the back. And that's it really. Not a lot to it. But I non-stick. Yeah, it seems to be not sticking. Uh sticking I mean. It's not my mind is sliding a little bit. But it's not to be moved, is it? Okay. So what I'll do is I'll set some I'll get some stuff prepared. I'm gonna do something simple, just see what it's like. Maybe some bacon and eggs or something, maybe uh, boil some water or something, just see what happens. I don't know, I'll sort of something. Right, let me get some stuff and I'll bring you back. Right, I've got myself a couple of little bits. Um, I've turned it around this way just so you can see for now, but obviously if I do use it, it'll be the other way around. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn them on. Come on them, yeah. And I'm going to get rid of that first stinky smell. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'll do hot force. I've got myself an egg. And I've got some bacon. I'm going to do bacon and egg in the frying pan. I'm going to do myself some soup, a bit of tomato soup. And I've also got a, I've got a pot of boiling water, uh, cold water. And I'm going to put that on with some, just some boiling in the bag of rice. Just see if it boils and gets up the temperature quick enough and that, that's all. I'm going to turn them right up 
just to get the first heat. Feel the temperature already on them, so we'll see. Right, they're heated up really, really quick, boiling up now. You can get that first smell. I'm going to turn them off for a minute. I'm going to burn myself. Smell that burning smell's burnt off now. It's, it did stink at first. Um, so, first thing, what should we do first? Well, what I thought I'd do actually, if I get a pot of water on the one, uh, I'm going to get a frying pan on the other. Will that fit on together? Yes, they will. So that's quite good then, because you have got enough space, haven't you? That's quite good. Um, get the chopping board. So what I'll do first, I'll get this water boiling up first, because that's probably going to take the longest, isn't it? Not having it on full power, put it on like, uh, up to six, so put it on three and a half, and we'll just see how, how long that takes to heat up. And at the same time, we'll do a bit of soup. De -de -de -de. Tomato soup. Bit of tomato soup. I'll save the bacon egg to last because I can eat that then. And I'll put that on. And I'll put that on the same. I should have swapped them pans over actually, that one for the bigger one. But we can test it on a small one, see, you know, how long it takes, can't we? To boil. Quarter past twelve now, so. I'll let you know how long that takes to boil. Right, it is 12.19, so it's four minutes, and the soup is just starting to bubble. So that's quite quick. And the, the water is, it's just starting to get hot now. You probably see the, I don't know if you can see the steam. So that's in four minutes, I think. I've got a hair there, look. I'm just only a test. Yes, so so far, I did turn the water up to full actually, I don't know if I told you, because uh, I'm boiling the water in. And I've got myself a couple of mushrooms, a bit of bacon, a bit of egg, and a cob. So i just tried the soup, it's hot, so the soup's done. That took six minutes. Which isn't bad, is it? I didn't think it, I think it'd be, thought it'd be a bit lot longer than that, to be honest. Fair play to that so far. Water is coming on. Spoon. That was a bit of tomato soup. Yes, so that works. Um, won't finish water now. Might take a little bit longer because it's a smaller hot, a smaller ring, isn't it? So, I want to see if we can all do potatoes and pre-cooked your chips in here and that and see. See what it's like, how long it takes the water to boil, that's what I want it for. That's cooked, oh, uh, cooked. That's boiled, it took exactly 15 minutes from cold. Now I know you can put the hot water in there and then from the kettle and boil it, but I wanted to try it from cold. So that's not too bad, 15 minutes from freezing cold. Pop pan full of water. I'm gonna do the rice then, this should take about 10 to 12 minutes. So we'll see, I mean it should do, shouldn't it, because the water's up now. Well, it's just a little test, isn't it? Well, that's boiling away nicely. Um, I've got my pan on, my frying pan on here. I was just checking it fits central with that pan on there, and it does, which is quite good. So I'm just going to start doing a, and that might want a bacon sandwich, actually. So I'm going to start do a bacon sandwich, then I'll have a bacon and egg after, while that's doing. So far, I'm quite impressed. Um, how long it'll last? I ain't got a clue. It's only cheap, ain't it? But as long as you're only doing this, it should last a while, shouldn't it? I think it says uh, two year guarantee on it, does it, or something? Three year warranty.
So as long as you're only doing stuff like this and you ain't breaking it, it should last, shouldn't it? Or take it back and get your money back, I suppose. Well, I'm going to stick a drop of oil in now. Um, you can do bacon without oil, can't you? But say so this is only a test, so I only want to see what's happening. We'll get that warmed up for a second. We've got a couple of slices of bacon and a couple of mushrooms. I'm going to get some mushrooms in. A couple of slices of bacon, find that. No, just back bacon this is, I think. Yes, make you back bacon. You're not having egg. There's only one egg left, but I'm having that. There we go. We'll get all that cooked up. Do me hands. That rice is done. I'm going to turn it off. That took 12 minutes once it was boiled, which is about right. These boiling the bag of rice are so convenient, aren't they? So convenient. Ball in the bag rice, done. Simple. So it's doing its job. I mean, you expect it to, don't you, really? But you know, is that off? Um, that's cooking away. Yeah, you expect it to do its job, don't you? How long it lasts? I was, I was concerned about how long it takes to boil and everything and get the water off, but it seems to be doing the same as. I mean, our hob's um, gas anyway. I haven't had an electric hob thing for years and years. Electric oven, gas hob. Uh, so I was wondering how the electric could do it, and it's doing well. Um, I can't see how much electric it's going to use because I've got my plugs, my lights plugged in, otherwise I could have checked. Uh, well, I think they're about the same as a, a cooker anyway, you know, I don't think there's much difference, is there? I'm not sure, I don't know. Right, that's is done. Bacon and mushroom. There's only one egg and I'm having that, bad. Oh, I'm afraid. Don't, don't want no butter. No, no frying up. No fried bread. No Get it on there, with that lovely grease. Tell you what, I'm quite impressed with it for the price, to be honest. Um, it's convenient for me. I've got my bacon on. Red sauce. Salt and pepper. Yeah. There's our nuts. All done. Enjoy, Bab. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, all done. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Um, yeah, it does what it says. Um, yeah, there's not a lot more I can say. What's the point of having one? For me, it's quite good because I can put that one side and maybe my air fry the other. And if I'm cooking like that, it could be a bit of a bonus for me. If you've got a cook in the house, there's no point, is there really? Maybe if you've got a shed, put it in your shed, do your own bacon and egg, maybe. If you do a bit of work in your shed. I know uh, Craig does. Hi, Craig. One man in his wood. Um, maybe something like that, Do while you're working away, I don't know, camping. Um, if you've got a transformer thing, plug it in, away you go. Good for me with, might check it in the garden in the summer, on the decking, with the air fryer, cook up some food in the live stream, that'd be good for me. Um, yeah, and apart from that, I'm quite impressed. How long it lasts, I don't know, as I said. I'll find out as I use it. But it, it does everything it says, it boils, doesn't it? It cooks, which it's going to, isn't it? It's just about how long it's going to take. And it seems to be taking about the same as the oven. Uh, the, the ob. So, there we go. As I say, I'm going to go and eat that now. I'm the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time. Where's it called again? Uh, Silver Crest. Uh, hot plate. Dual hot plate. £19.99, I think, in Lidl at the minute. So, there, if anyone's interested, I thought I'd buy it for myself and have a look. 
See you later. Bye-bye.